Colts get a much needed big AFC South victory. We're going to talk about that and so much more on this, the No Horsing Around podcast. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm a little calmer this week, a little less agitated because the Colts are coming off a victory. Uh, 20 to 17 in Nashville against the Titans. Colts get a very much needed victory in the AFC South to avoid going 0 and 3. They've also pulled back to 3 and 3 on the year. Uh, it was a weird game. It was an odd game, and it was weird from the beginning before the game ever started. You know, we heard rumblings, we saw the practice reports, we saw the injury reports throughout the week. It was really odd. Ryan Kelly, Braden Smith, you know, Kenny Moore, Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor, Josh Downs, Michael Pittman. We had all of that. Michael Pittman going to IR, Michael Pittman then practicing, then Michael Pittman playing. We had all these weird things leading up to the game, including day of the game. We're hearing the day before the game, AR is going to play. AR is feeling good. You know, he was limited practice, full practice, limited practice. A lot of what you were reading online said he was going to play. Then you kind of did a little bit more digging. You know, it's it's like a 60-40, 50-50 because of the limited practice. And then right before, you know, about an hour before the game, right, it's announced that he's going to be inactive but he's the emergency third quarterback. So he's fully dressed, which is weird to see. And then Steven Holder kind of brings out the news that if it was up to him and AR, AR would probably be playing. They wanted to give him one more week. They felt like they could try to win this game with Joe Flacco and then bring him back potentially. And hopefully there's the potential to be back against Miami with AR, Jonathan Taylor, and DeForest Buckner, and maybe you are as healthy as you're going to get this year at that point, minus the people who are out for the year, right? So that all happens before, and people go, excuse my language, fucking bonkers about AR not playing, you know, coaching scared, not letting him play through injuries. I even said something about, like, eventually a quarterback, your franchise quarterback, can have to play through those injuries. So there's a lot of stuff going on before the game ever starts, right? And then you come out, and you come out on that first drive, as usual, and you go right down the field. You look great. You throw a touchdown to Josh Downs, who has looked amazing since coming back from his high ankle sprain. And then it's just kind of like, It's like a pillow fight the rest of the first half, really kind of the rest of the game. You felt like it was just like not an impressive game to watch on either side. I mean, for the Colts, they got a little bit more from the run game than they did last last week. Tyler Goodson looked good. He probably deserved more carries than Trey Sermon. Flacco had an egregious like interception, like horrible, either overthrew, missed time, but it went right to the Titans, right? And it was not his best game. What? I mean, 22 of 38, 189, two touchdowns and a pick. I think he's got like seven touchdowns and a pick on the season, something like that. It's kind of crazy. Um, Or five touchdowns and one pick. But he didn't have a great game. The defense played – Well, at times, as in like they didn't let Will Levis throw for 100 yards. He had 95 yards, and he had a horrendous pick where he just YOLO balled it. Like, screw it. D-Hop's down there somewhere, and he wasn't, and Julian Blackman picked that off. So he they made him look bad. Tony Pollard looked good. I mean – you would have a moment where it was like, okay, they look okay, and then you have the halfback draw on a third and 19 that goes for a touchdown where you're like, what the hell is Gus Bradley doing? Like, what am I watching? I mean, I can't be the only one who sat there and went, I do not feel comfortable with them having the ball. And then, you know, you just you go to the second half where you outscore them 10 to 7. That's how you win the game. But – it just oh it was it was worrying watching the game it was a little scary relying on the defense i mean 
For those who try to come out and make the argument that Joe Flacco should be starting over Anthony Richardson, you are freaking insane. It shouldn't be happening. Uh, they won the game, but it was not because of him. It was sometimes in spite. I mean, you're talking about you go, you, you look, you pull up the play by play, which I just pulled up, right? I mean, the Colts to open the game, touchdown, and then here are the drives touchdown, interception, punt, punt, field goal, field goal, touchdown, punt, punt, punt. Like you had. And, and the three punts in, in the near the end of the game, right? You went five plays for 20 yards, three plays for three yards, three plays for four yards. And I was with you up 20 to 17. Three chances to extend the lead to where you wasn't sweating bullets at the end of the game. So not great. Not the best thing in the world when you look at the second half. Uh, Pittman is the biggest dog in the world. I mean, you go from... He might go on IR. Hell, after the game, he said he may still go on IR. He's not sure to just mossing the crap out of Legereus Sneed, who the Titans shoved down the Colts' throat all offseason about, look what we got. Look at all our shiny new toys. Well, let's look at their shiny new toys, because as the thing can say, who's talking now? All you did was talk all offseason of all your shiny new toys. Will Levis, 16 to 27, 95 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Okay. Tony Pollard, 93, good. Okay. Uh, Tyler Boyd, three for nine, three catches, 19 yards. Uh, let's see, where else? Where is he? You got to go really deep because Calvin Ridley caught no catches on eight targets. There's one of your another shiny new toys. What's another one? Legereus Sneed. He had eight tackles. But he had some blown coverages, and the Colts picked on him today, which was kind of surprising. I wasn't really thinking that one, right? So all your shiny new toys that allow, uh, added up to you being one in four, and your shiniest new toy, which was Legereus Sneed, you can look at the cover of the thumbnail, got mossed by Michael Pittman Jr., and it was beautiful. So you get this win. You get a much-needed win. You're three and three now. I feel better because I think we're getting healthier. Uh, I didn't see anybody get banged up coming out of the game. I may have missed it if I did drop it in the comments. But overall, felt good. As as a Colts fan who lives in Tennessee, anytime we can beat the Titans is, is great for me because I get to walk around with my Colts stuff on and my chest puffed out and not have to hear a bunch of bull crap uh, going everywhere. So now we get healthier, try to get healthier. We're looking at the possibility of having everybody back potentially next week. You could you could potentially get DeForest Buckner back. You're going to get AR back. You could potentially get Jonathan Taylor back. You're going against a very spiraling Dolphins. You have the chance to go four and three before you really hit this extremely hard stretch at the end of October and into November. You really need to get this one. So let's let, let's – Let's be positive this week, right? And right as I'm sitting here thinking, Ryan Kelly did get hurt. That's about Tan Tanner Bordellini is the future of that position. So I think he plays well. Uh, it's a bummer because I love Ryan Kelly and his freaking neck roll, but that's one injury that did happen in the game. So tell me how you're feeling. Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all those great things. Follow on threads and X and Facebook um, and subscribe on YouTube. And as always, you guys, I love you. I love a Colts victory and the Colts love you too. I'm out.